what up guys Hidden Shinobi Games here with a uh, tutorial for you on the Hexo build well the one I'm pretty much I'm running um, so uh, yeah I'm just gonna get right into it I'm not really good with all these intro talks and all that well let me help this guy first gotta get those accommodations here you go fella all right all right so this okay pretty much the tutorial is going to be how to uh, make a good high end build using the uh, uh, like what I use is the MP5 or the MP7 <coughs> and running with the uh, excuse me the uh, police and forward that you see me holding here <coughs> excuse me I'm sorry but uh so I'm gonna yeah, get right into it so basically what I'm running right now I have, uh, I have 414 DPS and that's with the MP5 here firearms, firearms only 7080 toughness is around 344 uh, stamina 5100 I'm just going to estimates here and skill powers at 115. As you can see, I have the uh, bear's chest piece, uh, skull gloves, and the uh, Sherpo knee pads. Now, my talents on the MP5 here um, we have vicious, deadly, and responsive, which is pretty good, with a base damage of 21.9. Career hit uh, chance that comes with the gun is 20%, which is pretty good. And um, having that vicious, you know, really gets you that uh, extra chance you will want, and then adding deadly. We'll get more into the old, those talents soon. Um, the police M4. Okay, I just did that. Uh, it has base damage of 22.6 with 20% enemy armor damage, and uh, the talents are brutal, deadly, and unforgiving uh, with a DPS of 349. Okay, pretty good there. Okay, so uh, so you can see what I'm going here and why I can melt people really quickly and blast in. Not trying to say that to brag because I'm literally not the best player, but I. But with the build I'm running down, I literally can drop a lot of people easily. And I can still get dropped easily myself. <laughs> but um, I found I uh, have a god roll bear's chest piece that I actually, uh, someone gave me from uh, a uh, legendary mission in 1.6. As you can see, it has like, well, if I take these talents off, it's 1271 firearms. Put those back on. With two uh, 267 firearms mods, 324. Well, 3243, I mean, sorry. Um, it has 16,166 health with 9% skill haste and 51 ammo capacity. That literally is a guy roll chest piece. And as you can see, this, uh, the skills talents here, I'm not going to read them. You can just pause it and look at it. Next, I have my refreshed mask here with 996 nine, armor. Uh, it has a uh, two, another 267, 3243 health mod. Well, fire, firearms health mod. Um, with 4% critical hit chance and stamina is at 1272. Um, let's go to the knee pads. Mm -hmm. So pretty well. Also, if you look at most of my stuff, is literally max rolled. Like these, uh, this vest here is at 1272. Mm -hmm. The uh, mask here is at 1272 as well. My knee pads are also at 1272 with firearms, and I have a firearm uh, mod on it. When it comes with health, 15,600 health, 28% burn resistance, 29 blind, 53. Kill XP. I don't really worry about that. The armor is 1636. Moving on. I have my nimble holster here. 973 armor with 1271 firearms and 1270 stamina. Electronics at 1115, but I um it's okay, I can deal with that. Is someone knocking on my door in the middle of my video? Are you kidding me? Well, I'll give me one second, I'll pause the video and I'll come back. Okay, I apologize about that. But moving on, I have uh, as I was saying, I have the nimble holster here with 1271 firearms, 1270 uh, stamina. Electronics could be way better, but I haven't, you know, I, I pretty like this, uh, pretty much like this nimble holster. As you all know, as you know, moving cover to cover gives you two percent of uh, your max heal over four seconds. So 1270 stamina, 1270 firearms, pretty good. This also has four percent crit hit chance as well to give me that uh, extra crit hit chance for my weapons. Um, so my skull gloves here, they are 869 armor, which could be better. The uh, stamina also could be better as well. Rolled on them is 1252, which is not bad. As you know, skull gloves increase damage by 16% when those uh, set bonuses are active. Um, the rolls on there are 5% crit hit chance, 997 SMG damage, and 15% crit hit damage. And last but not least, my uh, specialized backpack to give me a little bit of extra skill power. Um, rolled on 1269 firearms 
uh, and it has 8% crit hit damage on them. Wait, did I what did the thing hit? Oh, I need to pick that over. So, I, um, if I wanted to, I could sacrifice the health here for extra crit hit damage, but I'm choosing not to because health is very important as well. And with the uh, specialized goods, give me 115 skill power. I also have 99% skill haste on this build, which is pretty, it's, it's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay for me. Uh, if we go here to character, just some fire 78. 7080, stamina 5188, electronics 2675. But um, here's the main important thing here. Actually, wrong weapon. Let me put on the. Uh, this is what's going to be really good for your, if you're using it for SMG. The base damage is 21.9 here. Um, also, if I go to my, uh, let me actually swap out this police M4 for a uh, my. This is the one, right? No, it's this one. Actually, it's the one I put in my stash. Anyway. Okay, we'll talk about that later. But uh, so here, a character. Uh, did it again? God damn it! I'll, I'll take the gun out. There we go. All right. So now, as you can see, my weapon damage for this this MP5 is twenty-one thousand eight hundred eighty-three. Crit hit chance is at forty-nine percent. Crit hit damage is at one twenty-three percent, one hundred twenty-three, and headshot damage is at fifty-five. Okay, accuracy two percent, stability two, range fifty-two feet. All is good, good, good stuff. Stuff that could be improved, but it depends on literally what you want on your build. As you can see, I'm 9%. Survivability, mega 31.58%. So it really depends on what you want. But this being said, this build does actually put out a lot of damage, uh, PvP-wise, in Last Stand or in the Dark Zone. So also, what I have here. Well, first, you know, if you can just, you know, look through what I had and you can make your build similar to what I had, you can tweak it however you want uh, for, the, your, you know, how much damage you want to put out SMG-wise or uh, assault rifle rise. So, also, if you look here at my loadouts, this is my main DPS loadout, but I also made my last stand loadout, which is pr pretty much similar to this, except all I did was, on this loadout, I have a, uh, I have the, uh, as you can see, two health mods, two, well, two gear pieces one on health. I'm gonna load up my uh, last stand build. I have um, I changed the uh, refresh mask to a tenacious mask, but with firearms on it, it's still 4% crit hit chance. And tenacious gives you increased damage by 10% for 10 seconds, which is pretty good. Um, my as you can see, my toughness went from 344 to 325. Skill power is around the same area. Firearms is up at about 800. And before on my regular DPS build, I had an MP7 with uh, vicious deadly and. Uh, uh, I think it was Unforgiving on it, and it was 20.0 20, 20, uh, date based damage. And just by switching, you know, to firearms, I got it up to 21.k, uh, 21.k, 21.0. Extra thousand damage is pretty good, and it, just, it literally melts tremendously in uh, last stand or PvP wise. As you can tell, talents are deadly, ferocious, vicious. Uh, I'm trying right now, what I'm trying to do is roll a one. With vicious at the bottom, which is because I need the uh, need that last that tail active. Because by switching over to that extra firearms gear piece, it took away vicious if it was the one of the first two talents. So if I can find find a way to get another MP7, same damage with di uh, vicious at last talent, did leave somewhere in between, and change one of the other talents of responsive, it'll put out way more damage. And if I go here, as you can see, um, crit hit chance is 50.50. Crit hit damage is 120. Headshot damage is 56. I need to start going for headshots more. For some reason, I don't. But um, regardless, this weapon with the mods on it completely shreds in last stand and in PvP, no matter what. And also, I know people are probably going to think my uh, toughness is uh, too low either on either sets, whether it's all electronics. But what I got to say to that, it literally depends on how the person plays. And if the person can survive with the um, <coughs> with what they have, so um, that's my build. Uh, my builds for you know, the division, my my DPS builds. Um, I will make a uh, uh, some other videos in the future. Of my reclaimer build, tactician, uh, and my just my trial set, which is my firecrest build. Um, some videos in the future. Future. I can I literally can use all these as a DPS if I want to, kinda. I'm gonna make one on my reclaimer and my uh, my firecrest build because that's uh, kind of it's kind of cool how how it changes from electronic to DPS. Uh, pretty, I'm um, pretty much um, I'm sure it could be better, but uh, so 
yeah, this is my build. I was going to play some clips so you can see the, the build in action, but I'll probably just post some videos on that because I've talked enough uh, too much and took up too much of your time and probably my time. And I do hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you do, please like, subscribe, help my channel out, uh, help, help get the word out, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, Planet Shinobi Games signing off. Peace out, you guys. Hold on, let me, let me do this. I think I, I'll go here. Bam. Salute.